Hi, I'm Tim Krellen, and welcome to creating a game with the Blender Game Engine. So a little bit about myself, I've been spending the last five years working with Blender for both personal and commercial projects. I've published 200 online video tutorials, lots of different models, add-ons, and other stuff. Overall, Blender is my favorite piece of open source software, and I try use it everywhere possible. So in this video, we are going to go over the basics of the course overview, what you'll sort of achieve at the end of it, and what you can expect to see. So this volume is split up into six different sections, here you can see all of them. In terms of progression, in section one, we'll be going over all of the logic, physics, and other things that are characteristic of the game engine. In the second part, we'll be going over modeling our own assets, making them look great, and making them run well in the game. After this, we'll move on to section 3, where we set up the game, the environment, and all of the spawning and that sort of thing. After this, we'll be moving on to section 4, where we start adding events and mechanics, such as shooting, or health, and score. Then following this, we move on to section 5, where we start having things like restarting the game, adding special effects, and adding a main menu. And then in the last part, we go over all the details for adding final optimization, exporting, and publishing the game. Now moving on to the requirements for this course, again, basic computer navigation is required, such as unzipping zip files, downloading stuff, and just the standard day-to-day -day thing. We also have some computer hardware requirements, such as the minimum and recommended hardware. In regards to a keyboard, we will be using the numpad, However, again, as mentioned before, you can simply go into the user preference and emulate a numpad if you're working on a laptop. It is also recommended you use a dedicated graphics card or chip, but it is not required. And in general, most of the fairly modern computers will have integrated graphics anyway, so you shouldn't have a problem running the game engine. So the last and most important thing is that you have a little bit of patience. Some of these things might be frustrating or a little bit hard to learn at first, but once you get the hang of it, it can be quite fun and rewarding to use. Overall, here are the course goals, again, for each of the sections. So the first one is that you have a good understanding of how the game engine works, you're able to craft your own game assets, create an immersive environment with randomized spawning, event triggers and resulting actions, learning the basics of special effects and game menus, and then lastly, applying optimization before exporting and publishing. So now that we've covered all the different things that we're going to learn, let's go ahead and get started making our first game.